Hey gorgeous, this is Nicole Loves Only Fans, and so today we're gonna do a review, a non-celebrity review. <laughs> uh, well, I guess it's like a mini celebrity, right? There's like celebrities and then there's like celebrities, right? So we're gonna do a celebrity. <laughs> and this is Kane Kong. If you don't know who Kane Kong is, he there was like this video like going around, maybe, I don't know, uh, I don't know. There was a video going around a while ago where he like got jumped he's like security he does like celebrity security and he got jumped by like Quavo and Offset and like it was like a struggle jump because he is a massive <laughs> he's massive he's like 6'9 400 pounds he's a huge dude he also does like some modeling for like Fashion Nova I noticed on his page which is like dope I like it okay but what I did notice on his page is that he has an OnlyFans. So I was like, oh, okay. I follow him on Instagram. I dig him. He's cool. He's huge. And what does he have on his Instagram? <laughs> Let's go see. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, guys. So we're on Kane Kong's OnlyFans. And his name on OnlyFans is the same. Kane Kong. Okay. With two Gs. Two Gs. Right. And he has on here a 6'9", 400 pound beast. Oh my. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> All right, so his um, subscription is $19.99 a month, which is, you know, pretty normal. Okay, so let's go through it. Let's start the review process. So if you've watched my channel before, if you haven't anyway, go back and watch the other ones. They're very entertaining, but... <laughs> Anyway, so if you watched the channel before, you know that there are three criteria that we judge these OnlyFans pages on. First thing, number one, is the post count. All right, so now the post count is gonna let you know like if there is even content for you to even view. Because yes, there are only there are OnlyFans pages that will charge you a subscription fee and have zero content. Don't get caught up in that. Don't be one of those people. So anyway. Kang Kong, he has 50 posts, and as long as you have at least 50 posts, I give you a thumbs up. So I'm gonna give him a thumbs up on his post count. <laughs> right, so there is content to view. There's 50 posts. Now, the quality of those posts, that's still to be determined. So anyway, let's go and subscribe to his OnlyFans. Alright guys, so I just finished going through uh, Kane Kong's um, OnlyFans page and uh, yeah, okay, so you know, let's get right to it. So I gave the, I already gave the post count a thumbs up. So if you are going to his page or if you're going to subscribe to his page just to see like adult content, like you are going to be like sorely like disappointed, okay? <laughs> He has literally zero adult content on his page. His page is 100% workout videos. And I don't mean like instructional videos. <laughs> I mean like literally videos just of him like working out. That's it. <laughs> Which there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of like OnlyFans pages that are dedicated to like different things besides adult content. So I don't want to just say it's only about adult content even though uh, we mainly go for adult content let's be let's keep it a hundred <laughs> anyway um yeah so it's literally all videos of him just like working out in different scenarios like punching toilet paper and uh, working out with jugs and then at the gym and then like just a few like kind of like hey look at me in the mirror pictures <laughs> or video excuse me so that's all you're gonna get but at the same time I did not see these videos on other platforms so yeah so you know the uniqueness of the content it's unique content so I'm gonna give it a thumbs up just by you know for its uniqueness um now as far as like the quality of the content eh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down that's my personal opinion not because the workout videos are anything wrong with them it's just like okay we're like paying to watch you work out or like <laughs> for twenty dollars like it was five dollars and i don't know but you know what there's some people who would like to see that like just would like to see him work out to me it's not worth 
$20. I don't know. And it would be different if he was like doing like some crazy, amazing workouts and you're like, whoa, you know, like, whoa, I've never seen that before. But it's not. It's, it's literally not. It's just him like doing like regular workouts. I mean, besides like the punching the toilet paper and the milk jug. I mean, I guess that's kind of unique, but I don't know. I don't know, not for me. I would give it a thumbs down for the uh, quality of the content. So the content is there, thumbs up on that. Um, hey, I don't see these videos any other place, like as far as I know. Um, so I'll give it another thumbs up, that's cool. Um, quality of the content, thumbs down. And that's not because it's not adult. It doesn't always have to be adult, <laughs> guys. <laughs> um, but just because, I don't know, I'm just not impressed with the quality of the content. So as far as like recommending his OnlyFans, I probably wouldn't unless somebody just really was like a fan of his and wanted to like, you know, watch him work out. Then cool. But other than that, eh, no. So I'll say no. I still think he's like cool and hot and stuff and I'm going to continue to follow him on Instagram, but my subscription will not continue, unfortunately. Um, so that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy the review. See you soon. Bye-bye.